Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Uh, Pastor Keith, how are you today? I'm doing fine, thanks. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, glad to hear. Um, so as always, we usually receive uh, questions or comments from our congregation and from viewers. Uh, today, particularly, we have one comment and question uh, coming from one of our congregants, and it reads, Hi, Pastor Keith. I've been pondering over the meaning of the Sabbath under the New Covenant, and while I believe verses like Colossians 2.16 make it clear that Christians aren't bound to observe the Sabbath because it's a shadow of Christ, the creation amount seems to make it pretty clear that God had blessed the seventh day before any shadows of the Old Covenant came about. And the question is, does God still invite Christians to enjoy the blessings of the seventh day in a way that's not bound to any law? Right, yeah. I think this question has a lot of um, unspoken uh, assumptions under the layer. Mm. So I like to kind of uh, peel it off a little bit. Um, Sabbath, uh, Shabbat uh, in, in Hebrew, uh, mm. is uh, from the word rest. Mm. Uh, it's not anything to do with the seventh. Uh, so we cannot be stuck with seventh because Jewish calendar starts uh, from evening to morning. Uh, and um, it starts from Sunday to Saturday, whereas many parts of the world, uh, week starts Monday mm. and ends in, in Sunday. And besides the different lunar system and the solar system, it's different things. Mm. So we cannot have a seventh day as something very special because it's all mixed up right now. Mm. Um, uh, another word uh, is uh, Jewish calendar has something called, you know, like Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, or Yom Kippur. Uh, that's got nothing to do with seventh per se, but because of these days overlap, mm. uh, they are called Shabbat as well. Mm. Uh, so it's a, it's a day of rest. Now, what kind of rest are we talking about? Uh, is this uh, life and work balance kind of a rest, a physical rest? Um, actually, it's not. The Bible doesn't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. It actually talks about uh, laying down our concerns and our labor about our food, uh, daily living, this earthly life. But reflect and uh, to serve and worship God. Mm -hmm. And that's what it means. It's, it's got nothing to do with the physical rest. Uh, in fact, uh, until the Industrial Revolution, our lives are occupied with works and chores around the house, basically, before the appliances and things right. like that. So this uh, vacation concept of vacation or rest is just very luxurious idea. Mm -hmm. uh, only few people can afford at the time. So this is a rather new. So what is the Bible saying about this rest? Jesus um, happened to heal a lot of people on Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem, uh, that's a point of contention for so many Jews. And they're saying, why are you doing this work, quote-unquote work, mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday, right. uh, on the Saturday, uh, the Sabbath? And Jesus says, my father is still working, mm -hmm. therefore I work. Uh, seem to negate whatever idea they have about uh, Shabbat mm. uh, right off the table. And even today, this uh, word work in Hebrew has to do with the kindling the fire. So in, in, in Israel today, if you open a refrigerator on Sabbath, uh, Sabbath the light doesn't come on. Mm. Because there's a, you know, it has a fire and electricity and the same idea. Uh, so this, they are very minutely observing whatever they think it is, but that's not the intent of the scripture. Um, and in in the wilderness, uh, Israelites were supposed to uh, collect the food. Um, you know, uh, on Friday, you know, double portion, so they don't have to do Friday evening to Saturday, you know, Sabbath, uh, things like that. So we are laying down our concern, our labor. Uh, for life here on earth. Um, so that's the idea, that's the rest. But working and the worshiping God and the meditating and the ministering, it's got nothing to do with it. It's actually are encouraged to do more of that uh, on Sabbath. Now, also I want to point out the original command says six days of work is a prerequisite for seventh day of rest. 
If you uh, just highlight the seventh day rest when you don't have six days of labor, mm. then it doesn't make sense either. Yeah. So obviously we are working toward four day week. Uh, you know, work week and things like that. So this doesn't apply to us. Mm. Originally, when it was uh, enrolled into uh, Ten Commandment, Ten Commandment is actually a covenant between chosen people, Israel, and to God. Uh, this is not directly transferable to us, but, you know, but general idea is nothing wrong with it. Uh, so uh, what am I saying? Having a rhythm of physical rest and the emotional rest and, and all that, is that a good idea? It is a very good idea. We, we are not machines. Mm -hmm. We need to rest. Yeah. That's why we sleep each day, <laughs> right? So it is a good idea to rest and uh, you know, just uh, reflect and um, you know, have family time and all that. Nothing's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But you cannot... Uh, Combine that to biblical command of Sabbath. That's that's just totally wrong. Yeah. Uh, and um, we have to understand this as Christians. Sunday is not Sabbath. Mm. All right. So uh, first, uh, Christians believers were all Jewish men and you know, men and women, but Jewish men who were leading, uh, you know, apostles and all that. Uh, but you got to understand, they understood Sunday, the resurrection day, and they called it Lord's Day. Mm. And they, they switched their worship time from Sabbath to Sunday. That's a significant move. This is, this, uh, uh, you know, um, this is not nothing to laugh at. They understood the old covenant to new covenant, to something new has begun. And this is much bigger than Jewish or Israelite. Uh, uh, covenant. This is a world, savior of the world, which uh, Paul articulated, especially in Colossians passage and, and things like that. But uh, here uh, is something much bigger than Jewish concept of Sabbath. Uh, and, um, you know, our understanding of work and uh, life balance is beyond that. It's beyond that. It, it is, uh, they belong to the Lord. And the holy we give it to the Lord, right. and so this is this is a different idea than seventh. Uh, once once again, you have to uh, separate that uh, from you know uh, our understanding of Sabbath, uh, and we have to separate that from Jewish understanding of Sabbath, mm -hmm. uh, and this is what we what we believe in right now. So we are a new creation under new covenant, uh, and that's why Paul says as a Pharisee, Paul was a Pharisee. He was saying, "Don't let these festivals and moon, you know, celebrations and the Sabbath, uh, you know, or even dietary laws hold you down. You are you are a new creation, and uh, uh, you know, uh, you have a new under your new covenant. Therefore, uh, is it a good idea to have a day of rest in your schedule in you know, a weekly? Yes, it is definitely." Uh, and uh, it is a good idea to have a vacation with a family. Yes, it is. Uh, however, uh, that has uh, that is not the main concept of Sabbath uh, in in the scripture. I see, wow. Well, thank you so much for the insight. I think um, it really helped distinguish uh, rest and Sabbath. And yeah. um, I hope all of us here too, uh, all of our viewers, you know, uh, through this insight that we can really uh, distinguish the difference between Sabbath and rest, and even give ourselves some rest as well. So thank you so much, Pastor Keith. Right. Um, well, that's it for this episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Uh, please tune in next week for another episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Bye, everyone.